Hey you guys, welcome to another vlog. I really love this vlog life for me, honestly. Like, I enjoy vlogging these days. Ugh. But I have my forehead right in your face. Do you guys see my new hair? This is the elephant in the room. Let me turn around so you guys can see. You guys can see my forehead. But you know what they say about girls with forehead? They are the most prettiest, most intelligent girls in the world. Right. But today is Monday. I posted my last vlog yesterday and you guys love 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 the vlog It's doing so well, and I am so happy about that Thank you guys so much. I wasn't going to vlog this morning to be honest. I'm not even gonna lie But the reason why I, I decided to pull out my camera because I'm actually running late to work When do I run late to work? But I decided to pull out my camera because someone I read a comment Someone had asked me to do a tutorial on my everyday makeup. I guess the one that I did in a vlog. To be honest, girl, I don't do anything spectacular to the office. And that's the reason why I decided to pull out this camera so you can see. So if you mean like an everyday, everyday look that I would wear to go out, like go out, out and not the office, then I could sit down and make a video about that one. But to the office is really nothing. So that's the reason why I just want to show you one, two, three, what I do to my face like every day. I just used uh, the Too Faced, Too Faced Bond This Way Concealer. I have to keep saying it because something in my head always wants to say tart, but I need to stop it, okay? But I use the Too Faced um, Bond This Way Concealer. I have it in the shade Toffee. This is my favorite shade because it is closest to my skin tone. I think my undertone, not necessarily my skin tone. It is two shades lighter, I want to say, than my actual skin tone. But it fits into the everyday vibe for me and that's the reason why I really love it. So I just use this under my eyes because you guys know I have some really expensive luxury bags, okay? I really love my head with <laughs> this hairstyle. I just needed air to get into my, my scalp yeah so that's the reason why i did this hairstyle and i'm going to carry it for at least a week or a week and a half or two depending on how long it lasts me but i really love it i need to see the back of my hair actually so let me just do it 360 again so when i'm editing i can actually see how it looks i guess i just go in with a brush to just kind of i just also drag it to my eyelid you know what's crazy about this morning i feel like i shouldn't i actually shouldn't be doing this if i'm being honest because your girl doesn't have time for this but i know that if i don't do this today i'm quite busy this week so if i don't do this today i'm not going to do it any other day and honestly now that i remember i just have to do it now i'm going to set that with my fenty beauty um uh, profita setting powder in hazelnut this is also close to my skin Tone. I think it's pretty much the same shade as the um, what's it called the concealer this powder actually I could use all over my face if I'm being honest like I love how smooth like it how it blends into my skin I want to try the Laura Mercier um, setting powder the translucent one because my friend uses it and I love the finish and I also use it one of the days I was with her and I really loved it. So I'm thinking, cause we don't have that in Hungary. So when I travel, I'm traveling really soon. I'm actually traveling next week. <laughs> I love that for me. Every time I have the opportunity to step out of Hungary, huh, I'm always so excited and I anticipate and look forward to it. So I put it around my mouth because obviously that's the area that I get like cracks. And I also kind of use what's left of it and then dab in on the cover let me show you guys i'm too close but i, I just go into the cover and like oh i put i put it all over my face like just so i reduce the shine because i'm not using foundation i don't use foundation to the office okay I'm done with that, right? I need to be quick. For my brows, I literally just go in and I fill it in, but I fill it in in the most natural way possible. Like this is not the way that I will fill my brows when I am like, you know, getting ready to go out, out. Uh, I just fill it in a little, you know what? Let me just do this off camera. My brows are done. Real quick, real simple. I think they're not even, I think this one is higher than this one, but it doesn't matter. Brows are not supposed to be 
identical it's supposed to be sisters so I'm going to take or oh, I'm taking my uh, Fenty Pro Filter powder it's a soft mouth foundation powder it's in 460 I'm just going to put that like the lower part of my face well now I'm also going to put it on my forehead because I have more space on my forehead but usually I don't put it on my forehead I just put it like at this point that you see me put it I just dab a little bit put it in I love that this powder brings like warmth to my face I'm just gonna put it on my forehead as well then after the powder I'm just going to go in with mascara I don't know how to apply mascara. <laughs> I've not known how to apply mascara like all my life. I always get it everywhere. That's the reason why I actually love to wear lashes. I aside from the fact that it gives you like a much more, you know, beautiful and seamless look. It ties your makeup together. But aside from that, I actually don't know how to apply mascara. And I don't think I have the best lashes for mascara i'm also going to apply to my bottom lash but i need this to dry a little bit while that is drying the last thing i go in with is blush this is the revolution blush in jitter this is what it looks like i'm just going with that i don't even do uh what's it called uh, contour or bronzer or anything i don't because i don't think I need it. I'm now I'm going to go in with I'm trying to hurry up on the way. Mascara. I'm going to go in with this lipstick from I think Kat Von D. I don't know. It's been I've had it for a long time, but it's a Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Ludwig. I'm also going to go in with my lip gloss from Maybelline. Ah, it's actually gets dry real quick. I'm going to go in there. Then I'm going to go in with my Fenty lip gloss in hot chocolate to bring back some color to my lips. Do you see? Do you see how that? I love this lip gloss. It just ties. You don't need a lip liner. Yeah. I'm going to have more because I want to light up. I'm going to go with this. I think this is. An, it's called the Absolute Lip Gloss. If definitely you're watching me from Nigeria, if you are watching me from Nigeria you know this lip gloss or even if you're not watching me from nigeria you lived in nigeria at some point <laughs> you know this lip gloss but your girl is done i look so good i need to go and get dressed i already have what i'm going to wear literally bring out what i'm going to wear for the day before i actually jump in the shower so i have what i'm going to wear so i'm going to go and put that on right now but yeah this is the look this is all i do quick and easy 10 minutes maximum okay looks so good let me go and get dressed this is the outfit for today this is what i'm wearing to the office i'm also going to wear my jacket flay jeans i've been loving them lately and i got this from fashion nova so cute and then fragrance i'm wearing this new fragrance that i got from a brand called casa i don't know if it's a global brand but this smells so good and it's so clean as well it's good for the weather the summer weather uh, the hot weather and it's called almost summer and then i'm going to pair it up with daisy but mac jacob so intense i usually usually don't uh what's the word love mac jacob's fragrances like i actually do not but i love this one so much and it's almost out so i just want to kill it I don't know if I'm ever going to repurchase this. It was good. I got it sometime last year and it was good while it lasted. Like I really liked it. Hello. These sunglasses are slowly becoming my favorite thing. I pair them with pretty much everything. Like I wear them all the time. They are just so elegant. Like they look so subtle and so fitting for every occasion every look every hairstyle it just gives <laughs> i love it so much but i'm on my way to the office um obviously in a taxi because i'm always running late but my office isn't that far from my apartment like it's not far at all it's like just it's like five minutes drive i honestly used to think that winter or like the colder season was my favorite but the way I feel, the way my body is set up, the way I'm always in a happy spirit or a happy mood 
um, when it's warm outside, trust me, the sun is my best friend. I feel so good today. I feel so blessed. I feel so grateful. I mean, why not? I feel so blessed. I feel so grateful. I feel so, you know, fulfilled, you know? Um, at this period of my life, to be honest, it's not even the best period if I'm being, you know, 100% transparent. It's not, how do I put it? There are a lot of things that are just not going right at the moment and there are a lot of disappointment a lot of um you know let downs rejection that's what i'll call it which is not necessarily that but honestly in all no matter how i feel about everything that is happening i'm so grateful i woke up so grateful this morning like so 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 grateful and it doesn't matter in what form the disappointment and you know heartbreak that's what I'm going to say come it's just God's will and that's how I'm putting it like it's God's will it's God's choice it's God's way of like blessing me and opening doors for me and opening like more opportunities for greater things to happen in my life to surround myself with you know people that love me or like an opportunity for more people to come into my life if that makes sense so when they say when one door closes um, when one door closes several doors open and that's the mindset that I woke up with today and I am choosing to carry on for the rest of this week I am going to continue to protect my peace so whatever comes my way I have decided I've made that executive decision <laughs> to praise God and to thank God and to just appreciate the life that I live despite the shortcomings because it's part of my journey right but anyway um, I'm at the office right now so I'm just going to talk to you guys either when I take a break or when I'm on my way home I am done from work I'm currently on my way to a perfume store. Wait, I feel like my sunglasses are not staying properly because of my braid. Yeah, I think it's better now. But yeah, I'm on my way to uh, my favorite perfume store in Budapest, Rastael Oud. I need to pick up a perfume. I just finished from work right now. Oh no, it's okay. I'll just put it here. Okay. This and I think should have told me before I clapped <laughs> No, it's alright. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. I have donuts, you guys. A big ass donut, but it's plain donuts. I was craving donuts. And I went in and then I indulged. So I'm back home. And I need to set up because... I have therapy in six minutes. Let me just put you guys here. Yeah, I'm just getting a notification that I have therapy in, in five minutes, not six anymore. I need to clear up my desk so I can put my laptop. I was going to take a shower, but I just wanted to wait till after therapy before I take a shower because it wouldn't make sense. And besides, I just go here, so I just go home. So I don't want to, um, What's the word? I don't want to take a shower now and then be late. I need to be comfortable. Ugh. I need maximum comfort for this long session. I had to get tissue because 
sometimes it does come in handy for these sessions. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you, can you see me? Not yet. Okay, just please give me a second. Can you see me now? Great. We can see and hear each other. Hi. So thank you very much for seeing. I will email you with us and see you next time. Thank you so much. And see you next time as well. Have a nice week. You Good too. Time. Have a nice week. Bye. <sighs> yes. I don't know if my makeup is still there. But I need to wash it off anyway. But therapy was was good as usual usual tears and the usual offloading so it's a few hours later you guys and i kind of put my apartment together right now i feel like i need to take a walk because i don't know i feel like i need to clear my head let me place you guys somewhere yeah i feel like i need to clear my head so i didn't end up taking off taking off my makeup like i said i would um, I've just been kind of putting things around in my apartment. I popped a bottle of champagne just because I don't know, I felt like it. So I, I'm dressed like regular t shirts, like something, so I'm not cold. And I'm just going to take like a little bag and I'll take a walk. I'll probably get a scooter, I'll rent out a scooter. Let me see if. My Lime is still active because we use this um, application called Lime here. So, hey guys, it's the next day. My camera just did a madness and I don't even know <laughs> why because it literally just said there was something wrong with my memory card as usual and then it just it just wouldn't turn on basically but anyway it's the next day and obviously it's the morning <laughs> i don't know why my mood is so down but I, trust me i'm okay um i didn't go to the office today because i don't know i just didn't feel like going to the office today and we work on hybrid so the hybrid model we have right now is three days in the house and um, no sorry three days in the office what am i saying <laughs> three days in the office and two days at home but then obviously you can pick the days that you want to be in the office and obviously the days you want to be at home so i kind of go with the flow for the week so if i feel like i want to be in the office on a certain day like it depends on when i like when i wake up how i feel that's just how it is and today is one of those days that I just don't feel like going to the office. Oh, you can see my outfit from the mirror, but on my way to get a massage done. Last time I got a massage done was uh, in Warsaw. But let me just show you guys the quick outfit. The set is from H&M. This is what it looks like. So pretty, but I have to go because my taxi is outside. I'm currently in a taxi. Hopefully I feel better because I have this pain in my upper back and last time i was in the hospital was last week thursday and my neurologist because i actually went to see my neurologist for something completely different and she was telling me and i did mention about the back pain to her and she kind of checked it because obviously she wanted to know if it was something that required me to do like further investigation on the area so she analyzed it and then she was like she feels like my muscles are like tense so it's not a problem with you know anything internal it's pretty much something that i need to work on my posture basically she said i need to work on my posture and besides um and because of the fact that i usually sit down every day like a lot so she feels like i have bad posture so obviously like exercise and as well as massage is going to get rid of the pain I just finished the massage and it was great. Oh, I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> like, I really need to eat. Ooh, 
Wait, I hope I'm not crooked though. But I think it's stable now. But I'm back home, you guys. In my last vlog, I was supposed to show you guys the package that I picked up from the post office. But I couldn't insert it in that video because it was already getting like longer than I would want the vlog to be long. Or longer than I would want the vlog to be. I can't speak English. <laughs> so I couldn't add it to that vlog. But I'm going to show you guys the package right now. This is the package. This is the Eternity Rose from Rose Roses Forever or Rose Forever. If you guys could see they sent over this big box actually i picked it out myself let me show you guys the color that i picked this is the beautiful color that i picked i love it so much they are fresh handcrafted and they also last over a year so you could have this for a very very long time so i picked out this gorgeous blue color because i just feel like it ties better into my apartment and i'm kind of tired of pink roses red roses but on the website they have different colors they have black they have white they have pink they have red they have blue the black one was so elegant i was actually torn between the black one and this one but i said to pick it some because i feel like it just kind of ties into my personality at the moment they are actually having a spring sale that's ongoing i don't know if that's started now but but i'm pretty sure by the time you see this the sale will be ongoing anyway i would definitely recommend that you check the company out if you want to gift your loved one or even if you don't want to gift somebody you want to gift yourself something really nice i definitely recommend they also have different types of arrangements on their website as well i don't know if i mentioned that it's not just roses and oh my god you guys something that i was also very confused about because i didn't know which one to pick was the shape of the roses i picked the round one but they also have it in like square shape they also have like different shapes and different arrangements so you have a lot to pick from like variety to pick from i'll definitely recommend i'm going to have the link in the description box below so go ahead and click hey guys oh i sound i sound like a tired chicken wait i feel like my camera is foggy i should clean it is it better i just got in from the office i'm still even like dressed because I'm on my way out. I need to get my pedicure done. So it's like a few days later. I think it's like two days later actually. It's Saturday. Let me just put it. It's Saturday and I'm currently on my way to the city centre to um, check for something to wear. I'm travelling next week and I'm not going to have the time to look for something to wear before my trip, like right before it because I'm travelling during the week. I'm not it's not a weekend trip. Well it's going to flow into the weekend but I'm travelling during the week. So I'm travelling on Wednesday and today is Saturday. So whatever it is I need to do, whatever preparation it is that I need to make for that trip, it needs to happen today right i think i should even call it taxi because i don't know where i'm walking to i had an appointment earlier and i just finished from that appointment right now oh and then also i didn't end up getting my toes done <laughs> i didn't even explain to you what happened and why i didn't pick up the camera so that day I, I left the house i actually went to the mall to get my toes done but i didn't end up getting my toes done because mainly i stepped out of my house I just got this wave of like wooziness or dizziness but i passed through and i actually got to the mall i went to the place to get my toes and then they started, they started making me explain and explain and explain i should enter a shade they started making me explain and explain and explain and i feel like that kind of like worsened how i was feeling so I just left <laughs> i went home and then i went to take a shower eat something and i laid down because i felt like i don't know i was just having a lot going on in my head at that time so i had to go home anyway i'm going to also get my toes done today i'm supposed to get it done with fasting but i'm not sure if she's going to join me because she's kind of busy today she has a lot of like heavy cleaning to do but i'll just go to the city when she talks to me later i would know if she'd come and join me or not but now I'm not really sure she's going to come to be honest. You guys, oh my god, my memory card is dying. I think I need to switch that out to right now. But I don't even know what I kept my other memory card. Whoa. Oh yeah, I see it. So just give me a second to change this. <laughs> We're back. It's almost midnight. I was going to say like it's a long, long, long time like after, but like yes, I got like things that i wanted to get from h&m i got an outfit to wear i'm going to do a tiktok i'm not going to show you guys in this vlog the outfit so if you want to see the things that i got from h&m 
you have to follow me on tiktok that's linked in my description box below i was so tired you guys you know i said i have to do my nails i have to do my pedicure i have to do my toes blah, blah, blah. i didn't do any of it nada like none of it <laughs> but i'm going to do it tomorrow anyway but i did go to the nail place i have a headache you guys like I've been having headaches back and forth like for weeks now. My hypochondriac self is telling me all sorts of things, but I'm not listening to it because we've gone past that. We're growing from certain things. I'm going there tomorrow to get my toes done, get my nails done and all that kind of stuff, but I couldn't do it today. And you're wondering why I have makeup on. Yes, I came home after my shopping spree <laughs> and then I rested for a bit like I, I ate and then I decided to record sponsorships that are due. I've told you guys a couple times in this vlog that I'm traveling next week so I'm not going to have the time to record. I'm going to be vlogging anyway but I'm not going to have time to do sit down videos so I decided to like get out my sponsorships today. Um, so I pretty much recorded two sponsorships. I'm working with an agency. There are like two companies that work that are under her that kind of need my service. So I recorded those sponsorships today. It usually takes a long time for it to get approved anyway. So it's good that I got it out of the way because working with this particular agency takes a while to get things, you know, done. I'm going to record a TikTok right now of like the haul from H&M. I really love everything I got. Like it's so beautiful. Only one dress, one brown dress. If you go on my TikTok, you know the dress I'm talking about. That I just feel like I need to hold or touch like in the waist area. But I did actually go to the mall to, to get that fixed. But they told me the waiting time is 10 days and I'm not even about that life. So I just, I just walked out. I'm so tempted to like put the light because this light, I've been putting it on like unprovoked oh do you guys see how good this light is but you see do you see how everything just changed like you guys need this light it's in my amazon store link in the description box do you see how everything just changed like everything just became better although i had my light because like i told you guys i was recording so i have my actual light but that's like warmer so without like the settings on my big camera on this camera it wouldn't look that great so this just made it great this made it great this made it great i love this i love this life so much i hope this one doesn't die on me because if it dies i'm still going to buy another one because that's how much i love it that's how much i love it but yeah let me just go because if i keep talking i'm not gonna get work done so we'll talk later it's the next day and well it's actually later in the day because <coughs> joking i had a couple things to do earlier today so I went out early, being Sunday, today is Sunday. I will actually end this vlog, maybe today, because it's already stretching. But I went out earlier today to like um, get a few things done. And then um, I met up with Fatim. <laughs> As usual. We came to get up, pedicure done. Well, I'm getting mine done. Fatim is going to go somewhere else tomorrow. Not tomorrow, Tuesday. And then where she's going to go to, I'm actually going to go there tomorrow to get my hands done, like my nails done. I'm telling you that you gave me a service, I don't like it, and you're, you want to record me. So a quick explanation to what you just watched, because I have the clips, but it doesn't make any sense if I just put it in the vlog. You wouldn't really understand. We were loud. A lot of things were being said. It doesn't make any sense. So let me just record and explain what's going on throughout this vlog i've told you guys that i want to get my pedicure and manicure done because obviously i have a trip that's coming right and then i found this place in the city center it's new to me i'd never seen it before i don't even know when they opened right but what caught my eye what got me interested is the fact that they actually have the the tools that i've been longing for in budapest budapest is not like the us or the uk or anywhere else right it's not even like nigeria where you can find services like this easily so when you see somewhere that has the tools it kind of gives you hope that they will do the job and that's the idea that i had in my head when i picked to go to this place i hit up my friend Fatim because she also wants to get her pedicure and manicure done and we wanted somewhere with proper tools like we see in the uk or the us and when we travel to other countries we just wanted the same service in budapest though. that's the reason why we decided to go to this place because it had it set up just the same way we'd expect like they had the setup so we just expect that they would be able to give the service the same way right we were wrong 
So I went there and you don't need an appointment. You can walk in, which is actually kind of like a red flag. If you live in Budapest, you'd understand that. If you don't need an appointment to somewhere, just know that you're setting yourself up for failure, right? But anyway, we decided to give it a try anyway because, I mean, you never know until you try. <laughs> okay? <laughs> we went in and we sat and they brought the price list. It was ridiculously expensive for Budapest. Key point is Budapest because obviously, like, the money is not that big, but for Budapest, it was expensive. But seeing the setup... I decided to at least try it out. Like, Fatim was like, okay, you know what? You go ahead and do it. If they do a good service on you, then, you know, I'll do mine as well. Like, just, let's just see why it's costing this much. And I said, okay, you know what? Do my pedicure and my gel. So, basically, change out the polish on my toes. My toes, mind you, do not have extensions. It's just gel polish. I usually get French nails or French toes or white toes and for this one i wanted french toes i already had french toes on for like a month i wanted to just switch it out to another french but clean out my leg as usual like do a regular pedicure as normal and then just do another french on top of it that was just what the service that i required was i sat down on that chair and there was like clear water in the bowl right the pedicure bowl and I put my leg in it because in Hungary, it's hard to find, like, the actual pedicure setup that you see anywhere else, like, in the UK or even Nigeria or the US. But this one, they had the proper setup, so I thought they knew what they were doing. So, I was so excited to put my leg in the bowl, the pedicure bowl, and which I did was clear water, by the way. It was clean water, there was nothing in but it was warm. So, I put my leg in the water, and then, I'm telling you, the guy that... Is supposed to do my service came like a few seconds later and he removed my leg from the water there was no product there was no soap there was no cleaner there was nothing so he just took my leg out of the um, bowl he wiped it with towel dried it so me i thought you know what ah, they have their own way i do pedicure almost every month right so this is not how they do it, but I'm like, okay, I have to trust the process because these are different. Like, they are different people. So, they might have their own process of how they do pedicure. So, I'm not going to question them. One thing I don't do when someone is rendering me a service, I already told you what I want, right? You said you can't do it. I will leave you to your job. I'm not going to bother you because the way I expect you to do it might not necessarily be the way that you know how to do it. The outcome and the result is my own business. However you, you try to get to that finish line, does not matter to me. So I was like, okay, you know what? Cool, cool, cool. He cleaned my leg out and then he started taking off my actual, like my polish that was there, like my old polish and my old French that was there. And me, I'm like, that's good because to be able to clean my leg out, since you're doing a full-on pedicure on me, you need to, like, take out my old polish, like, clean out my, you know, my nail bed, the cuticle, every, you know, the actual stuff. So, I didn't question it. Huh. He finished all of it. Then he started, like, painting my nail, like, doing the fresh set on it, like, the fresh toe set on it. Huh. <laughs> I was like, okay, maybe this is how they do it. Again, I didn't question it. But I told Fatim because she was sitting next to me. I was like, ah, maybe they have their own way of doing it. Mind you, the all the services I've gotten from, you know, all these nail people and stuff in Budapest, they're usually Hungarians, right? This is my first time getting from an Asian place. By the way, if I didn't mention earlier, it's an Asian place, right? So I didn't think, like, I'm like, okay, maybe the process is different. So I didn't think anything of it cool okay they did the base i picked the color for the base you guys know if you're familiar with french you have to pick your base to know exactly you know what kind of color you want light pink nude you know whatever clear i picked the light pink that i wanted then they were struggling to do the french i'm telling you the entire shop was on my toe like my big one of my 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 left big toe trying to figure out how they want to draw the french like common French that you just draw like straight on line on top of it, like the white part. They struggled, struggled so hard that I had to tell them, you know what? 
this is what I want. Like I brought out a picture from my phone and I said, this is exactly what you need. Okay, if you're finding it difficult, I can airdrop this picture to you and you can just hold it, look at it and then draw the French anyhow you want to draw it, right? They kept cleaning, coming back, speaking in their language, trying to figure out how to draw the French. At that point, I was already feeling uneasy because you already know what that means. They don't know what they're doing. And obviously, they've never started the pedicure in my head because that's the simple part, in my opinion. The pedicure is a harder part because you need to scrape my leg, you need to soak my leg, put some product. Uh, I was struggling to get the French done. I had to show them what I wanted by myself, so I had to draw the French by my... I took my toes and I drew the French myself, right? I was still calm because me, it doesn't take me... Like, I don't get really mad like that, like, at people that render service to me. I don't... Like, it has to a lot for you to get me there. When they were done doing the French and they, like, put the, the top the base the top coat sorry then i asked the girl at this point she had switched because that one couldn't get the french at all so they switched to the lady like the, i think she's a manager of the store right so she wasn't actually finished up my toes then when she was done i kind of told fatima i was like it seems like this baby is actually finishing but they haven't done the pedicure like they have not done the actual pedicure and fatima was like oh she doesn't think they are done because they must be joking i'm like okay cool let me not say anything yet let me just wait then I saw her, she grabbed coconut oil. And I was like, Fatim, she's done. Like, she's done with my legs. She's done with my toes. She's done with me. And then Fatim was like, nah, that's not possible. Then before she added the coconut oil, I was like, are you done? And then she goes, yes, I'm done. And I'm like, but you didn't do the pedicure. You just changed my polish. Basically, because I don't have extensions on my toe, toes. I have French, but with my actual toenail. So basically what you did was just change my polish and it's expensive you guys for Budapest by the way I'm like yeah, but there's no pedicure like they haven't done the pedicure on me And she was like, oh, he didn't do the pedicure the previous guy that was actually doing my legs and I'm like no He didn't she was like, oh, she's so sorry. She thinks he forgot or no, not actually he forgot that she thinks he doesn't know how to do a pedicure so he really didn't get what he was supposed to do basically so she was apologizing and i said okay i don't have a problem with it i'm just not going to pay you full price when you didn't render the service so what you only gave me was a gel so i'm gonna pay you for changing out my polish on my toes because you didn't do the pedicure that i actually wanted right and she was like all right no problem we negotiated that price, we are taking it back and forth, right? And then she ended up at a price and I was just like, no, that's too much for just changing my polish because you didn't render the actual service. So we're going back and forth. Then I guess she called the owner of the store, you guys. Then the owner of the store came and that one, I think she already had a stereotype. That's just how, what we concluded. She had a stereotype on her, in her head about like obviously black people, like black girls and stuff. So when she came in, she came in with that energy, like, I'm coming in to like fuck things up. Like I'm coming in to fight. That's what she came in with. So when she came in, she was just like, what's the problem? Da -da -da -da. And then she was like kind of talking in Fatim's face. Fatim was like, relax. She didn't get the service that we actually wanted. So she's going to pay for what she actually got. And which is fair. Do you get? So she was coming in with like, no. Now the funny thing about this is normally I would be that person. Like I am Fatim actually. We don't really indulge. Like what happened in this situation is like something that i never thought we could ever do we're these type of girls that we basically just avoid things like we just pay whatever it is to get out of situations right nah this one sis it was literally oppression that's what it was because how can i come in here to pay for like to get a service i get pedicure plus gel and you give me only gel and then you want me to pay pedicure price pedicure plus gel price like that's oppression and i'm not going to let you oppress me that's what it was given and it was the same thing fatim was saying like yeah i understand that this money yes is a lot for the service but it's not it's nothing com like compared to what we can afford do you get what i mean but like nah like you're not going to take advantage of people just because you offer a service like and you feel like you have nothing to lose we have a lot to lose like that's a mentality i feel like most people have when they start this type of drama because she started listen you guys it escalated to the point that i feel like 
I'd never ever seen myself getting into like it was so bad at the end of the day it was beyond my control or our control and it was something that I never expected that would happen because she came in and then she like started touching like it was bad like hands were thrown because obviously she threw the hands like it was bad you guys it was so bad and I told myself at that point because there are certain points where you get and you're just like you know what now you're not going to walk all over me just because i'm choosing to not indulge if that makes sense or you see that or you think that i'm the kind of person that would not indulge there are certain situations that will arise in my life and i'll be like okay it's not worth my time do you get but this one you're literally playing with my money you're calling me a fool and then you're telling me that you could do whatever you want to do to me and i will have absolutely nothing to like see in return you're daring me and typically i don't even fall prey to those type of stupid threats like i don't care like whatever it is like you're pushing me like i would try and control myself but don't call me stupid don't call me weak don't make it seem like you have the advantage and i don't i don't understand like is do you think because i'm black i wouldn't nah just stop it stop it and that's where it had to come out because i literally put everything i said at that point so yesterday i couldn't finish up what i was saying for the vlog to close out the vlog and that's because like my camera started acting up but i'm dressed this is the next day of the next vlog that you're going to see but ultimately what i was saying is sometimes people just feel like you wouldn't step out of character or they try you just because you know like they feel like they can oppress you or they have the power to oppress you and those moments or those times are times where you need to actually you know not be taken for granted and that's just what happened um so i had to just drop everything and kind of do what I needed to do at that time to make sure that no one was taking me for a fool and also no one was playing with my money because that's the major thing like the money actually is not wasn't really the problem it was the fact that you think you can steal from me you think you can like rob me of something that I've worked so hard is the fact that you think you can do that and that's the, just the problem for me so it was good that we had to step out like show up for ourselves and kind of make sure that we did the right thing at the right time if that makes sense but anyway that's pretty much everything for this vlog stay tuned for this vlog thank you guys so much for the support the love so far i'm actually running late for where i'm going to well not really kind of to be honest but anyway i'll catch you guys in my next vlog bye